Mary Adeline last time. First time we did this, we were checking to see if you were tall enough to go on, what, Splash Mountain, I think. Okay. Uh, did you grow? Yeah, I am. You grew again in a month. Cool. This is where you started. January 2016, so. That was six years ago. You were that tall. Yep. When did we move in here? In 2015. So we started doing that in 2016, the beginning of the year before we went on our 2016 trip to Disney. And we marked down all of the rides that were 40 inch height. See that? And then the 44. That was the big one, right? Because you got to go on Everest. Yeah. And that was the one you were really excited about. And we still haven't been there for you to get on Rock and Roller Coaster. Need to go on Rock and Roller. Cause look how long it's been since we've been to Disney. That's how much you've grown. Right there. Cool. Yes. This is the second day of our moving process. Basically, we hired Zippy Shell to. They're kind of like a pod. They're a shipping container. They load them with your items, and then they lock them in front of you, and then they take them to your destination. You can put them right in storage if you want, which we were gonna be doing for a while while we rent, and then they will deliver them to you when you ask for them to be delivered. And then you take the keys that they gave you at the other location on the loading location, and you unlock it so nobody else has access to your items. We've had so many promises that have been broken and so much miscommunication. I mentioned that in my part one video as well. Yesterday we had an ice storm, so today I was a little bit concerned that they wouldn't be able to make it out. They were supposed to be here between 8 and 12. They couldn't because there was too much ice on the road. So I did call them because I wasn't getting any communication. I'm like, hey, is anyone coming today? I don't care. I know if they have to... If they have to wait until tomorrow because of the weather, I understand because the roads were sheer ice, but they weren't communicating with me. So I called at like 9.30 and they told me that that some, someone would text me and that they should be here by noon, like I was promised. I'm like, okay. I didn't really think they would because of the roads. We didn't dare leave on the roads. A little afternoon, I still hadn't received any communication, so I called them again and I said, hey, I'm just wondering if you have any updates for me, if anyone's gonna be coming today or not. If they can't, I understand. Um, we were just gonna push everything back one day and they um, told me that they would escalate the case and that someone would call me back. And they did within 30 minutes, so that was good. And they said someone was coming in an hour to an hour and a half. By that time, the roads have now like melted, so all the ice is gone. Someone showed up about two and a half hours later and they came with a giant budget van instead of a container. So the other day they came with also a bigger van, but the container was inside of the van. When they opened it up today, I kind of expected the same thing and it, there was nothing in it. And so I was very concerned. I'm like, what I paid for basically isn't happening. So I called and I'd been on hold with them for a really long time and basically they were like oh what that's called is a loose load um, I don't know why you got a loose load and why they didn't notify you ahead of time so I'll look into that and someone will call you back in a couple of hours and I'm like a couple of hours like the movers will be gone by then they won't be here anymore and I kind of need to know ahead of time because I'm a little bit concerned that the items that they're putting into this giant van are not gonna fit into the container that's a very specific size. So they're like just guessing about everything. So her solution is that if I need a second container, she'll see about what that charge will be for another container. And I'm like, no, cause we already have a truck coming. Anything that wasn't gonna fit in the actual zippy shell, I was just gonna put on our moving truck that we've that we're renting. It, Bob was supposed to pick that up today, but again, because of the ice, that got delayed. Anyway, it's just a big old mess. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with right now. Sorry, I'm in my bedroom with an air mattress and an overturned laundry basket with a lamp on it because all my furniture is gone. <laughs> this is moving for you. This is real life, people. But we are gonna still get to Florida, so that's the good news. I do have some exciting news, which I will share with you keeping in mind that there's still several hoops that have to be jumped through before we know for certain what's gonna happen. So I think I mentioned in my last vlog that we had a house that my realtor was gonna go look at and do a virtual tour for us. So he showed us and we really loved the house and we already knew the neighborhood and the area that it's in. So we um, decided to make an offer 
and they accepted our offer. We were the only offer that they had because we got in soon enough. So we actually just bought a house. We still have to go through the inspection process and appraisal and all of that, but everything looks really good so far. This particular house, we think that it's not gonna have an issue appraising. We're, I, I'm just, I'm in shock. I cannot believe it. I can't believe we're, we just bought a house like sight unseen. That's the good news. That's the uh, positive news in this video because I know a lot of it was kind of roardy door. Here's what's going on. Here's all the negative stuff, but there's still a lot of positive things that we're very, very excited about. Our living room furniture was just picked up. We sold it. The lady put a deposit down the other day and it is gone. And we're playing Skippo on the floor. I needed a pillow sit on because I'm not uh, 16 anymore. And we're having a nice little fire toasty warm in here even though it's like 15 degrees outside and we've just been chatting about saying goodbye to everyone here mm -hmm. and moving and talking about what we're looking forward to in florida yes and what were you telling me that you are looking forward to seeing our house so that's gonna be like the first thing seeing our house yep i'm always excited about like a new bedroom but i think that's just how all kids and teenagers are like, oh what's my new bedroom gonna look like Mm-hmm. How am I going to decorate it? It felt really weird today. We had a lot of people stop by to say goodbye. One of our neighbors stopped by with her son. And then we had some friends that live like 20 minutes away that Landon works with actually. But they're really, really, really good friends of ours. And they stopped by and brought us like a whole gift bag full of stuff of um, just candy and treats and stuff for the kids. And they brought their little dog so that their dog Bella could say goodbye to us but it was really nice to see them that was a little bit hard for me to say goodbye t to them because we've been really close with their family and then we had some other good friends that stopped by with their daughters and our girls always played together so it was nice to see everyone today and say goodbye and I think I did pretty well did you do okay yeah, saying goodbye to everyone okay. mm -hmm. and you guys said goodbye to all your other friends yeah in the neighborhood yesterday we've kind of kind of done all the last minute stuff. We were discussing kind of how surreal it's been because you know, you're like, you're just kind of going through all the motions of moving this whole time. We got, you know, the job offer and we went to Florida and we were house hunting and looking at different neighborhoods that we might want to live in. And then we were rushing home to get the house listed. The house sold within, let's see, we listed it on like the 8th, I want to say. No, on the 10th and it sold on the 22nd of December and then we closed earlier this week. But that whole time it's just go, 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 go. All these showings and then you're packing and you're moving and getting everything ready to go and house hunting and apartment hunting and, and you don't have time to sit down and think. And then all of a sudden today, I was cleaning out a drawer or sweeping the floor or something like that in the kitchen and I was thinking, oh, I'll just get that later. And I'm like, I'm, this isn't even my house anymore. <laughs> like it's not even my house. Um, I don't have time to get things later because we have to be out of here tomorrow. It was just so weird. It's like hit me all of a sudden uh, and I and I'm good with it I really am it feels strange of course because we've been here a long time and mm -hmm. this is where the kids have most of their memories oh, Especially with Adeline. Especially Addie because she was only four when we moved here. We have been kind of in limbo for three and a half years ever since Bob got a job offer in Tulsa We were, we were supposed to move to Tulsa and then we didn't and then we were gonna go and then we didn't and then COVID hit and we're like, well, we should probably go to Tulsa and then we didn't. And then we decided one more time we might go and then his company told him, just wait because we have another opportunity for you. And then they offered him a new role and told him he could move home. And so we went house hunting in Florida last year, about a year ago. Then he decided he didn't want to be with that company anymore. So then the job hunting started. Just been kind of like one foot in, one foot out of this house for that long. So I think that's why part of it seems a little easier yeah. to leave, don't you think so? We're ready. Like no, we're just, like, just there. Just want to get there. We're excited for Florida. It's been a goal for a long time, and everybody knows it. It's so funny as everybody's saying goodbye to us. They're like, you know, we're really gonna miss you and really sad that you're leaving, but we're so happy to see you chase your dreams. And we know you've wanted to be in Florida for a long time. Like everybody says the same thing. So we have not stopped talking people's ears off about how bad we want to live in Florida <laughs> yeah. this whole time. So we're gonna be there soon, Emmy. Yay. All right, good night, we'll talk to you tomorrow. 
It is a moving day, final moving day, day three. Bob went and picked up the Penske truck today, finally. He was supposed to get it yesterday, so this was only supposed to be a two-day project. But alas, here we are. It is Saturday, February 4th. Like, everything in my house is disappearing very quickly. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take a few more things to a storage building as well because they weren't able to fit everything onto our second container. I might do a whole separate video a review on that company because it has been really not the most amazing process. It wasn't what we were expecting. And I did read reviews. I did my due diligence and checked all the reviews. Anyhow, so they packed up the moving truck yesterday. They kind of overjudged how much they would need. So they're bringing back six boxes to us. Thank goodness we didn't leave this morning because I don't know how we would have retrieved our items. They told us like, oh no, we'll just put it in a third container and they're $3,500 a piece. And yes, they were going to charge me for the third container for six boxes. I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> This isn't gonna happen. Zippy shell messed up. They should have given you the container. Anyway, long story. But that's what we have left in my room. And then I'm just trying to do a light cleaning everywhere. I still have to pick up these things as well. I'm gonna, oh, and my closet's empty. But I will do like an empty house tour really fast if I have a few minutes. So we're gonna go out to the van. I'll show you the, the moving van or truck or whatever it is. And show you how much progress the guys have made because I haven't checked in a while. I feel like there's like somebody behind me. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> ah, very funny, very funny. Let's go check out the moving truck. So all this stuff still has to be loaded onto the truck. And there's the truck there, Bob. Good job, Adeline. Well, we ran out of room. Almost. We still have to get four bikes, need to go on the truck. The guys came back with way more boxes than we thought they were coming back with. This is it. Uh, my sister's finishing vacuuming and everyone's trying to put the last of the stuff in the van, which is gonna be close. There's a lot of stuff. But we're gonna walk through the house and do a quick house tour. One last time. <laughs> It's okay. It's gonna be a good news. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I was just gonna show the house empty. We're at the front door. Closet. Everything's empty. This was the living room, dining room. All cleaned out in the kitchen. Sad family. <laughs> the Hattie's room. Feels weird. Landon's room. It's gonna be okay. It's a good move. Just saying goodbye is hard. There's the dining room area, the balcony. And my favorite door jam in the house of Addie's height. This was Bob's in my bedroom. Have it all clean. It's what, about 5.30 right now, Emma? 6.15. Oh, 6.15. Empty bathroom, all the drawers are cleaned out. And we cleaned the house as best we could with the time we have. Vacuumed and wiped everything down. See, it's a little hard. Told you I would cry. I said in my Instagram post, I'll probably cry, but it'll be okay because we know that we have Florida. Florida. We're gonna be happy there. Let's go downstairs. We have empty bathroom. So we're in Emma's room now. And we got, why does it keep going out of focus? I think it's because everything's so empty. It doesn't know what to focus on. Emma's empty closet. This is kind of cool. There's like a little safe there, but the kids lost the keys to it several years ago. So maybe there's a treasure of ours in there. You think? Maybe. <laughs> I love you, Eddie. 
we're gonna have a good time in Florida. And this new family is very, very excited to move in. And a lot of our friends know them. So yeah, yeah, Scarlett knows. Yep. So this was our other living room. It's all emptied out. We left them a few things. We didn't actually have room to take this shelving unit, so I'm just gonna leave that there for them. We left them the TV mount, which we were planning to, fireplace stuff. And um, I think I showed this room empty already because it's been empty for a couple days. Last but not least, where I did all my editing, all my work, all my homeschooling. And filming. Filming. Yep, everything. This office. Big, huge closet. It's all emptied out. Turn off all the lights one last time. It's funny because we were talking about that. Everything has been one last time. One last time for like the last week. Mm hasn't -hmm. it? It's all right, Daddy. It's hard, isn't it? It'll be okay, though. Let's walk out one more time. Go outside, backyard. Everything's empty. All the sheds are empty. We left a couple things in there, but everything's empty. Goodbye house. It kind of reminds me of good night moon. Good night moon. Good night house. Good night chair. Good night people everywhere. I probably didn't say it right, but that's it. It's all she wrote. Yep. Go check out the garage and see if the guys got everything out of the garage and into the van. And wine. See this this little bug. He's a little sad. And I'm a little sad. But we're gonna get through it. Right? It's okay. I love you. We can do this. We can do hard things. Go walk outside the front door one more time. I left a couple things. My wreath and my mats. I guess we're leaving the hose. <laughs> Probably won't fit. And there's the truck. They had it closed, but I think they had to squeeze a few more things in because we are full to the brim. Goodbye house. Goodbye honey. I see you in Florida. Are we going that far? <laughs> oh, I, I don't think we'll make it that far. Here, family. We're in Florida. Made it to the Welcome Center, and we're walking over to the Thank You for Visiting Florida Welcome Sign. Emma, we're here. We're tired. We're greasy. We're gross, but we made it. <laughs>